Alright, so this video is going to be me testing and kind of figuring out how some things work for myself. Not a how-to video. Um, not at all. But one dumb quick test that I had to do just to make sure when you dip a weapon, you go to the weapon and it says dipped in fire three turns remaining as the bonus 1d4 fire damage. Right? That's pretty straightforward. The torch does not... Even if you have the torch burning, it does not have that... It has the 1d4 fire. It does not have the dipped in fire little trait thingy at the bottom. So, dumb test. As I said, torch, dip... Still the same. Kind of suspected that that's how it would work. I just wanted to make sure. And uh, the dipped in fire lasts about three turns, so 18 seconds. So that's test number one. Test number two. Well, actually, we're going to include a long rest in this because it's been a while, um, and I want to get some action, not actually, reaction. I don't need you in my party right now. I I brought Lazel out just to speak. I have a tank, so I don't need her a whole lot. Check. As you say. Um, so, but I, I went over to Aaron in the Druid's Grove, the merchant, and I wanted to see if there's any gear I could get for her. What's on your mind? But she's already got a plus one great axe and a plus one heavy crossbow. So, I, and and the gear that was offered by Aaron at this point in time, level four, wasn't um, with anything special. So, one thing cool to note is that even if you take Gale out of your party, if you come back in, he will have all of the buffs on himself that are self only. So he's got Arcane Ward on still, he's got Mage Armor, he's got False Life. Um, he's got two Kvoths, that's wrong. Hold on. Kvoth number one. Kvoth number two is same Kvoth. That is a weird bug. All right, that is super weird. I wonder if that'll mean like he'll get two reactions somehow. Or um, what I want—the next thing I want to do—it's on my list—is to just we're gonna do a long rest. It's not on the list, but I have to do it anyway. You cannot use that right now. Why not? Oh, because I'm Kavath. I've got a long road ahead. I'm an idiot. I don't have enough. King oh. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so... Why my step? I think I misunderstood something that I read. You can send all of your camp supplies to camp, to the traveler's chest. Totally fine. But you cannot pull those camp supplies when you're taking a long rest. You'll actually have to go in... Oh, this is annoying. I don't like this at all. Can I sort? Okay, so type. Does type put all? No, it doesn't. Fuck! It doesn't put all the camp supplies in. Oh, that, no, that won't work. All right. Well, I need forty. So this is. Is this telling me how many camp supplies per? Whatever. Like it saves you some carrying capacity for sure. I'm just gonna pull out a bunch of stuff and then. God, these raspberries alone could almost entirely fuel my camp supplies. I finally found out what. I don't have her yet, but you get a barbarian tiefling um, as a companion. As long as you, I guess, do the right things. I don't know what right things those are, but you can. And um, the soul coins can fuel some of the stuff for her, so that's pretty cool. You can also sell them if you need cash, but. Um, I think I probably have enough, but. Let's us take our long rest now. Okay. I, I've used both my short rests. Um, we will do our standard... Oh, Astarian has a new thing to talk about. What's up, bud? There you are! Oh, okay. My friend! You're not gonna bite me again. It didn't go well. I don't like it. Okay. Quick save. 
Let's find out what these are. So, are you drunk? Are you drunk? I have drunk. Not alcohol, of course. A bear. Oh, congrats, dude. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. Cool. Sounds like a dangerous meal. Uh, or, you seem happy. No need to drink humanoid blood, then. You seem happy, yeah. You're comparing plonk to vintage wine. You can make merry with either, but they're not the same. But Cazador fed me rats and bugs. And when you're used to drinking from a sewer, even plonk is a marked improvement. I'm not entirely sure I know what plonk means, but by... I've never heard that word before. But context makes me makes it seem like it's like two buck chuck, like really cheap beer or wine. Um, so let's be nice to him. Sounds delicious. No. Does it matter? Blood is blood, isn't it? No. I, I actually, I, no. Rats. And what what did you do? To, and what did you do to deserve that? I existed. That was enough for him. He reveled in having power over me. Because those with power can do whatever the hell they want. You think power lets you do anything? Free from consequences? Or, you're free now, that's what matters. Or, we're not powerless, the tadpoles are quite the asset. I'm gonna go, you think power lets you do anything? Free from consequences? Well, yes. You can't look at the world and tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, I don't want to get preachy with him, but the strong have a duty to protect the weak, or power corrupts, you do well to remember that, or careful, there are heroes about, and I hate for them to get the right idea about you. You know, maybe I will get preachy out of those options. The strong have a duty to protect the weak. Although, I'm not sure I believe that as a, as a human being. It depends on, yeah, well, it depends. There's levels, so yeah, we'll tell over oh, that. <laughs> They're doing a piss poor job then. The strong had two centuries to pluck me from torture. But no one came. No. It was the mind flayers that rescued me. They gave me a gift. The strength to take my own freedom. I'm embracing this power. You should too. Reload. This video is going to end up being longer than I intended because I, I, it was going to be like an experiment video. I was going to, I'm, I'm still going to do that. It's just all going to be in one. So, hey, you know, watch if you want. There don't, you are, you don't. my friend. <laughs> All right, so we thought he was drunk. Uh, what happened? Were you attacked? Oh, that. A scratch. Oh, it's on his throat. I ran afoul of a bear. Is that where a scratch is? He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. Where am I seeing... Is it on his forehead? Am I, am I missing it? Um, sounds like a dangerous meal. So is any meal worth having? It's nothing compared to... Well, uh, other things I could be dining on. But significantly better than the rats and bugs Cazador served me. But does it matter? Blood is blood, isn't it? Not at all. Blood is life essence. And some creatures have so much more life than others. Hmm. Cazador gave me just enough to keep me, well, alive, for lack of a better word. But never more than that. Still... That was the past. I'll never have to grovel for him again. Let's hope. This is new. True, you can start over. You can be better than what he made you. Or, maybe not, but you'll grovel before the mind flares if you if you keep using the tadpole. I mean, or, or, or do you sound very sure it's the last? True, you can start over. You can be better than what he made you. Exactly. I can be better than him. Stronger. More powerful. More... Oh. You meant be kinder. <laughs> Pet bunnies, that sort of thing. I have no objection to being nice, of course. Once I have the power to bend others to my will. <laughs> mm. 
think power lets you. Oh, we already talked about that. So these are all. I don't. I don't want to go through the. Uh, so, you're free now. That's what matters. Is it? What good is freedom if I'm always watching the shadows? No. I'll be safe when I'm powerful enough to grind Kazador into the dust. Powerful enough to do whatever the hell I want. Careful. There are heroes about. I'd hate for them to get the right idea about you. <laughs> Let them! Heroes are half the damn problem. Fools that believe in right and wrong, good and evil. Heroes didn't save me from Cazador. Mind flayers did. They gave me a gift. The strength to take my own freedom. I'm embracing this power. You should too. He, he and I always have a lot of dialogue, and I don't have a, as much with the others. It's kind of sad because I would like to. We killed his monster hunter. I haven't done much else specifically with or for him. Oh, I saw. There you are, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems drunk. Uh, wait, what? Continue. What happened? Are you now? <laughs> wait, what just happened? Don't make promises you can't keep, darling. <laughs> wait, what? Thankfully, I've had my needs Excuse met me, this evening. I... Why did that change? What happened? I only had one option. The option was continue. What's going on here? Did I do a quick save before trying out the dip and dip a weapon in, in fire? Why would I? Quit? There you are, my friend. <laughs> Don't you dare! Okay. At your service. Are you now? <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep, darling. Oh. <laughs> Thankfully, I've had my needs met this evening. I found a bear. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. I'm not trying to get... As long as you're leaving... Oh, yes, here, okay. I haven't tried this one. As long as you're leaving mine alone. You think I'd kill you just like that? Darling. You did. I would never. Already. I still need you. We've... Anyway, How? the bear will sustain me. And it's a marked improvement over the rats and flies Cazador would feed me. How does the game not know he's already killed me? Can't, it, can't there be like a one and a zero where it's flipped to the one for, for killed me? I haven't, I haven't done this. Sounds delicious. <laughs> it was exactly as appetizing as you'd think. Still, that was the past. I'll never have to grovel for him again. I haven't done the tadpole, tadpole option. Uh, maybe not, but you'll grovel before the mind flayers if you keep using the tadpole. I don't intend to grovel before anyone. Yeah, we the mind do. flayers gave us power, but left us to our own devices. For now. Whatever they had planned for us, they failed. For now. And now I'm left with this gift. The strength to take my own freedom. I'm not afraid to use it. And you shouldn't be either. That was a quicker version. None of the options that I chose led These to boots any have seen everything. approval. So I don't I don't know if this was an option to gain more approval. Uh, let's talk to Lazelle since she's nearby. Speak. Always so terse. Oh. That's it. I'd like you to join me. Okay. But I don't right now. I got a tank. And that sucks because I, I want to get to know her better, but maybe I'll do that on another playthrough. How can I help? I don't care what he thinks of having a vampire in the camp, but I, I might not have asked. So, eh. We all have our burdens. One way or the other. I think of a magical artifact. I don't, so, I haven't had him begging me for another one. So, I'm not going to just give up an artifact with, without requiring, being, being required to. 
Hey, Quoth is back to just one of him. Or them. Whatever. Her. Something the matter. Your haircut is so bad, but okay. Um, I want to talk about all... I've, I've tried this before, it never leads to anything. I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your, in your estimations? I've done I that must too. admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Okay. Cool. Anyway, that was... Okay, so... One of the experiments I want to do is just kind of testing out the familiars. Speaking of which... A long way from Waterdeep. Hail, did I ever already use the method scroll? I, sh I think I got a scroll of method. Oh, scroll of summon closet. Okay, so I gotta learn. 50 gold. That's fine. He's one of the familiars I would like to do little tests with. I can learn Tasha's hideous laughter. I can't learn vampiric touch yet. I already know which bolt. I think I. No, I don't know. I can't do web yet. Shocking grasp. I think I already. Oh, I don't have it. But I can learn it. 50. Shatter too low. I think Shatter's level 3. Level 3 spell. Not like level 3 wizard, but level 3. Um, Scorching ray. Yeah, it was also probably higher. Ray of sickness. I could. Magic missiles. I could. Hypnotic pattern. Not yet. Fly definitely not yet. It's like level 3 spell as well. Detect thoughts. Oh, too low. Okay, interesting. Crown of man. Yeah, I was going to say crown of man is too low. Bone chill should be okay. Yep. Um, that's a. Isn't that a cantrip? Oh, that's a cantrip. Yeah. Sixty foot cantrip. They can't get healed until my next turn, which is nice. And and against an, an necrotic uh, enemy, sorry, an undead enemy, they also have disadvantage on attack rolls, which is also nice for for a cantrip. It does one d eight. Attack rolls, actually, also. Does that mean if they have two attacks, they... Okay. Um, I do... I mean, uh... What are my cantrips currently? Ray of Frost, good for making ice surfaces slick. Firebolt, good for lighting surfaces. Mage Hand, I almost never use it. But, I'll get another cantrip coming up here soon, so it's not like... Um... I do want to learn magic missiles. Good for hitting multiple enemies that are far away, especially if you like only need to like finish off a couple hit points from one enemy and then do the rest of the damage to another. And it always hits. And if you hit if you hit the same enemy multiple times, so those are different concentration checks for every hit. So good spell to have. Not entirely sure if I will have it equipped, but So, Tasha's Hideous Laughter also does not say that if they take damage, they will be broken out of it. So that might be something worth experimenting on. For Empiric Touch, yeah. It's a level 2. Do I have enough control right now? I have Sleep. I have... Um, do I have Color Spray on this? Or no, I think it might be a different playthrough. Find familiar cheeky closet. Oh, it's a different spell entirely? That sucks, dude. I thought it was just gonna be part of my find familiar options. Oh well. Um for now that's all I wanna do, because I'm I'm actually I've wasted more time than I need. Let's give this a try. So my bad on that one. Oh wait, wait, no, sorry, sorry, Gail. Most okay, excellent. Go back. Have a lot on my mind. There we go again. Um, um Well, in it. All my camps up oh! <gasps> Ooh, maybe you only need to have one in your inventory, and then all of the camp supplies that are in the chest will be in this. Okay, interesting. Okay, cool. Good to know. I'll, t I'll do all the raspberries. That's 30. I need another 10. Okay, okay that's what I thought. That's three, four, four. You guys are not. Can I do... 
Continue that, and then split item. Boom. Cool. We're sleeping by the fire. Only four of us. Oh, no, there's five in the camp. Look at the well rested sound. Okay. Um. We auto saved? Hold on. Did we just auto save? Cool. That's fine. I, I, was, no, I, I don't need to save again. So. Kvath. The Raven Familiar. Has. Shitty decks. Shitty intelligence. Shitty crit. Like, you don't care about those things. Very, or sorry, sorry. Shitty strength. Shitty intelligence. Shitty charisma. Um, decks of 14. There are no proficiencies at all. So that'll, that'll mean, yeah, it'll be okay at stealth and okay at sleight of hand and acrobatics because that's dex, but nothing else really. Wisdom, plus one, again, no proficiencies. No extra like stealth or anything like that. So that is Kavoth. Quite ready for you. Um, the Raven. Let's see. Da, da, ba, ba, bow, bow. Let's put. I still haven't used Witch Bolt yet. Um, and then we're just doing an experiment, so it doesn't really matter what I put here. So, let's actually save here. Let's override this. Yes. Okay, so. Let's do the quasit first. You recognize the tiny fiend, a quasit. Wicked creatures often used as familiars. It's on the ground. It looks like a... Wait, you're not Illy. Kind of spiky-skinned gremlin kind of thing with um, backwards horns that go straight back from at the top of its head. Two of them. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, what are my options here? Quick save. Illy. My master. Tall, skinny, prick with ears. Prick with ears. So, your shovel's master now. Fine. <laughs> You're a disgusting little creature, aren't you? Your name is Shovel. This Illy you mentioned, who's that? This Illy you mentioned, who's that? Master Illy, wonderful. He tricks them, heals them, <laughs> then they die. So sudden, so mysterious. Shovel comes, Shovel takes them, then we raise them, make them walk. Necromancer, your kind call him. Fun, I call him. Spiky teeth like a piranha, beady black eyes, red face, hair that looks like green, kind of like plant-like spikes going backwards. Um, what happened to him? Don't know. Don't care. Wait, are you horny? Well, For the book. It what? will never shut up. Book this, book that. You have such a way with words. <laughs> Good with tongue. Good at cutting them out, too. Tell you secret. Big, big Illy black weak. eyes. Illy never finish book, but master. Master can do it. Read book, conquer book. Yes. Long, thin fingers with um, black, kind of two-inch, maybe, maybe more-inch claws. Nails. All right, those are some options. So what we go out. All right, so closet dialogue options number number two. Wait, you're not Illy. <laughs> let's be let's be ang let's be really mean to him. Ugh, what chewed you up and spat you out? Your daddy! <laughs> so, your shovel's master now. Gross. Fine. Kind of like long, 
orange pointy ears. You're a disgusting little creature, aren't you? <laughs> and you, slab of beef with nipples, moo. He kind of has um, uh, what are they called? When between the fingers or toes of an aquatic creature, creature. Um, fuck. What are they called? Oh, I'll think of it. Your name is Shovel. Boss Ellie calls me Shovel. Don't like it? Change it. Alright. Um, <laughs> how about another utensil? Fork? Does basket sound good to you? What would you like to be called? Don't care. Okay. Shovel's fine. So Shovel, um, he doesn't care. Does basket sound good to you? Basket. I like Baskets hold babies, okay. my favorite. So, well, first, master, gutting locals, raising the dead, making them walk, making them scream. You are definitely horny for necromancy. Is that what you, what you and your old master did here? Or no, and you'll not commit such deeds in my name either. Let's beat you. Oh, you don't like gutting. Spilling! Tearing! Boring! Wait, are you horny? Oh For the book! Illy never shut up! Book this! I picked up the that. book already. <laughs> Good! Illy weak! Illy never. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh! <sighs> Big stretches, Riley. So, Raven can fly. I didn't mention this. Uh, they have a peck. Their peck attack is three damage. They have like a, a blinding chance what? attack that does one You're damage. Not really? A chance to blind, obviously. Your scroll was in an undead's casket. Who were they? The blacksmith, the teacher, the grocer, the baker, little piggies to the butcher. The whole. So, your shovel's master now. Fine. For the Raven, like the flying mechanic was fantastic. I don't think that I ever had um, any scares about opportunity attacks. You could, you could fly in from a distance and then fly back out to another distance and you were fine. Even with the 30 feet movement speed, it was weird. Um, I've already kind of done these options, so... Let's see if there's another one. That I'm missing here. Boom, 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 boom. Vacation, gotta go get away. Wait, you're not Ellie. Illy. My master! Talk! So, your shovel's master now. Fine. This Illy you mentioned, who's that? Master Illy. What? Yeah. Shovel comes, shovel takes fun, I call him. She li shovel like doing it. Um, what happened to him? I already tried that, right? Yeah. I don't remember what he said. I don't think I care. It doesn't really matter a lot. Died. That does sound fun. Yeah. Love when they cry. Love when they bleed. Delicious. Okay. Illy's so busy. Only cares about the, the book. Book, yeah. book this. <laughs> Good with Illy week. Illy never fin. I found the book. All right. Um. So that is. Okay. Actually, let's see. Yeah, let's go this further. So shovel, the closet, has better stats overall than the raven. Still bad strength, still bad intelligence. One, sorry, no. Three more decks, so a plus, like one more um, dex mod than the Raven did. Less wisdom by one mod, more charisma by a couple mods, like, like it matters. Has dark vision, an AC of 13. I did not record the Ravens, but I can get to that if I need to. Is not proficient in anything. Um, 
So I have a one point better in stealth, sleight of hand acrobatics, if any of that matters at all. Dark vision only 40 feet, movement speed 30. Is a fiend, again, if that matters at all. Some abilities will do more or less to a fiend. Carrying capacity, though, I don't think that I can actually put anything in your inventory, can I? <gasps> no way, hold on. Wait, how do I, how would I do that, though? Hold on. I want to try this. Gail, where the fuck are you? Right you on. have my okay. attention. Let's see what happens if I do this. Okay, through the torch. Illy. Pick it up. Can't be. Okay, so no inventory. That's fine. Seek and you shall find me. After a long rest, by the way, my arcane ward is down to two, which I think I read about in the description. Now, obviously, those buffs are gone because they are. Yeah, anyway. Um, so, yeah. That is shovel, the closet, as, as an option. I mentioned that I was going to find out the Raven's AC. I think hit points is one. Didn't have dark vision. Oh, fuck. I didn't look at. Oh, I suck at this, dude. I didn't look at the closets. <sighs> Stupid. Attack options. Oh, I didn't look at resistances either. I think there were some. Fuck, I'm so bad at this. Okay, hold on. Before I go, Kavath, the Raven. AC 12, so one less than that motherfucker. I don't see... Yeah, no resistances. Okay. So... Ugh. God. Vacation. All I ever wanted. These load games take so freaking long. They take so freaking long. Really? Really? My master! So, you're Shovel's master now. Master Shovel... Fun, I call him. Don't know? Wait. No, oh, it doesn't know what happened to Illy. For the book. Okay. Illy never shot. <laughs> Illy weak. Okay. Sorry. So, Shovel has... Four to... Se so, 1d4 plus 3 slashing. Probably plus 3 from Dex. Okay, so just claws attack. Has a dash. Obviously. I think that's probably the opposite of fly, so if you're not if you're not a fly. Um, invisibility is concentration. This this was one of the things I loved when I read about the closet spell. Can I only do I'll try I'll test that in a second. So invisibility lasts until long rest or ends early if you attack, cast another spell, take an action, or take damage. And scare, lash at a creature to frighten it, 20 feet, wisdom save, once per short rest. Okay. Invisibility. That's awesome. I like that a lot. So he would have advantage on, or it would have advantage on a claw attack. Would not have advantage on scare because it doesn't require, it's nothing in it. So... I'm gonna try to scare Gale. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try to hit Gale. Why not? 88% chance to hit. Fuck. Oh, my plus hits. Uh, probably three. Well, pre pre can you tell me what? I could probably calculate it. Hold on. The air is ripe with magic. So Gale has. But it's at advantage, and I don't know what they add for advantage, so fuck it. I don't really know. Alright, um, yeah, let's try to hit him. Did five damage, wiped out one of the arcane. Okay, cool. Wait, why did it still do five damage if your arcane ward had two. Oh, it did five after. Okay, hold on. So it did seven. 
Do it. Oh yeah, cool. Okay, cool. Wow, shit. I rolled a four on the D4. That's interesting. Oh, here we go. So it is proficiency plus two. Probably when we level up, he'll have the plus three. And dex mod three. Okay, cool. So, let's try to scare Gale. He's saved. You can use invisibility at will. So with his plus three stealth, plus invisibility, he has advantage on stealthing, really, anywhere. Oh my. Attacking Soad has a 75% chance. Hits for seven. Jeez, another seven? What are you doing here, dude? How are you rolling fucking four every time? crazy um all right cool so that is wait no you did nine damage against wait how did that how did you do nine against fucking gale oh no i did five okay i was stupid okay so I max damage both times that's crazy <sighs> cool so that's I like that a lot. All right, interesting. So let's find. Let's uh, talk talk about the others. Is summon closet? I'll find out in a second. So, better health so far than the raven. The raven is so far my was my favorite familiar before, shovel, the closet. Better health, better AC, better stealth, better damage. Visibility is w way cooler, in my opinion. Especially getting advantage on an attack here and there and being able to use invisibility at will. That's crazy, dude. Um, it is a ritual spell, so you don't have to worry about... Uh, you probably only do it once per once per short rest. Okay, just like Final Familiar. Cheeky closet. And the, and the dialogue options are fun as hell. So, okay. Next up, we have Cat. Cat, so Kavoth had one hit point. Cat has two at whatever. I, get, I don't know if it's based on wizard level or what. No idea. Doesn't tell me. Uh, okay. So Cat has one point better dex, a couple points better strength, but that point in dex doesn't actually help. And this cat has dark vision, but in D&D 5e, they do not. Which is a, a point of con uh, contestation in, in uh, some critical role episodes. Same wisdom as the bird. S uh, same AC, because I think they're both 12. Or was Kvoth 13 and the cat's 12? I don't remember. I'm not keeping track. But yeah, dark vision. Um, no proficiencies. 30 feet movement speed. Is considered a beast, tiny, 10 pounds, blah, blah, Um, fuck, I still didn't look at uh, resistances for shovel. I'm so bad at this. Okay, claw does two damage, whereas the peck, the regular peck attack from the raven does three. Can hide, can meow. Attracts the attention of nearby creatures to draw them closer to you. So in theory, it's a it's a, it's sixty foot range. So in theory, you could use the cat. It's an action, so you could use the cat to like meow over and over to draw creatures to like one spot. <laughs> you know, cat does a little slinky slink. That's cute. Um. Okay. Cool. So that's all, really, about the cat. Maybe maybe Kvoth would have more hit points if I summoned him now. We'll actually try that in a second. I just want to... I'm so stupid. I'm so sorry. I will, I will save over all this dialogue because I'm already through it. I'm done with it. And that's pro I'm probably going to use the, the closet anyway. Uh, but I, I still forgot to check his resistances. I don't think he has any because familiars generally probably wouldn't. You never know. I will try summoning Kvoth uh, as a level 2 wizard. Wait, you're not Illy! Uh, 
Here we I must go. So your shovel's must and must shovel fun, I call it. Wait, are you horny? No, no, I'm horny for the book. I have the book. Okay, cool. Um, sorry. Resistances. Here we go. Slashing resistance. I knew he, I thought I saw some. Piercing resistance. Bludgeoning resistance. Fire resistance. Lightning resistance and cold resistance. Holy crap. I'm sorry, you would probably be dumb to use anything other than this closet. How's your jump though? Your strength isn't great. So can you are these even jumpable? Hold on. Let's turn in busy. You can jump up here? No oh, shit. Oh, you just climbed up here. Okay, never mind. Huh. I would have thought that would maybe knock him prone, maybe risk a hit point or two, but alright. Cool. Alright, sorry. Um let us actually save over this one. I swear we're I'm gonna go a little faster here now that I've totally been done with um, him. Load or them, whatever. We're gonna do a quick summon of the Raven again, just to see if anything changed. Cause I summoned him last time and I've not needed to summon him again since I turned wizard two, I believe. So we'll see if it has something to do with wizard level uh, hit points. Or if the Raven just because it has fly. The Raven doesn't mention um, if it attacks a creature, it, that creature no longer. So yeah. Elminster's not around, do, like, so it might as well. Uh, so let's do Raven super quick to get out of the way. Nope, still one hit point. Okay. Cool. Had to try. Load. Let's explore. I didn't check everything else, but... I don't think I would need to. I doubt they're giving new abilities to these familiars every single level of wizard. Maybe there's a point in time where they do. If I were a conjurer wizard... I would like to test that. I do have a Conjurer Wizard on my monk, I think? Okay. Which way to the nearest Fine, library? Yeah. Done cat. Crab time. I have a crab on another player with the scale. Alright, cat crab. Two hit points. 11 AC, which is sad for a crab that it's so freaking low. The lowest intelligence I've seen so far with a 1. The lowest dex I've seen so far. Khan is also sad at 10. Charisma's 2. Strength 2. Wisdom 8. This is... This is just arguably... Horrible. Nothing good to write home about at all. 33 movement speed. So the only thing you could... No, just bad. Just bad, bad, bad. Overall, there's no resistances either. Okay. So, the cat can meow. It's got... So the maiming pinch does better attack damage. It's it's a 1d4 plus 1. So it's actually just regular 1 slashing and 1d4 of piercing. It um, will inflict pinched if it hits. I don't think there's a saving throw. Take two, takes two piercing, so 1d4 piercing damage at the beginning of each turn, and the movement speed is reduced by 10 feet. That's the pinched condition, lasts for two turns. It doesn't say there's a saving throw, but I'm sure there is. So, the raven can only use its... Actually, no, sorry, the raven can use that one damage um, blind thing as many times as it wants. Pinched is only good for movement speed reduction. I... What were they thinking? They couldn't make this somewhat cooler somehow? Does it have a swim speed at least? It 
doesn't say it has a swim speed. That's sad as fuck, dude. I'm so I'm so sad for the crab. They did you dirty. Crabs are one of my favorite. Whenever I played a hunter, I think they're called hunters in World of Warcraft. A, like a, a blue crab would, or man, well, actually multiple color crabs. You got a plenty to choose from. Were some of my favorite tank options because they look cool. They scuttle around. Turtles are cool too, but turtles are just one of my favorite animals in general. Turtles and polar bears. All right. It's a crab. Sad. Sad crab. Frog. Also only one hit point. Has like this weird kind of pink and white coloration. Just kind of patterned. Checkered. Whatever. Um, one strength. 13 decks. So sad. Con 10. One int. Sad. It doesn't matter. Wisdom 8. Charisma 3. No resistances. AC 12. God, they just did all of these so dirty. 30 foot movement speed. Do you have a jump? It doesn't say that I have like a, a jump. But it's a, it's a fucking frog, right? So. <gasps> Ooh. Hidden. Wait, what does it say? Hold on. Frog can fucking jump, boys and gals. So what can can a crab swim and it's just like a hidden? Oh, I should have taken the crab into the water, but I don't think we can go in the water. So like, what's the point? Dude, dude, frog has basically the jump spell always, which doesn't matter as much when you can fly like the raven can. But this, this motherfucker can jump across the camp, and it's... Oh, well, not... Okay. Halfway across. But that's so fun to play with. <laughs> um, and then Bufotoxin. Always does one damage. Has, is melee. That's sad. Touch a creature and possibly impose disadvantage on its dexterity saving throws. So I guess you... It said possibly. So you try to Bufotoxin them... Jump in. Let's actually test out some movement speed. So let's jump as far as you can. Which used all of them. Okay, okay. So, okay, okay. So exit TV, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let me back into TV. Okay, so I could jump. What's my movement speed? 30. So I can jump. I can, I can jump almost double? Hold on. Hold on. Un unclick. So I, I can jump double. Cool. Okay. Oh, it says 60 right there. Dumbass. I can just read it. That's stupid. So you can jump your movement speed. Try to boofo toxin. Actually, you know what? Let's do yeah. Enter. <laughs> Save failed, so he is bufotoxined, which means what? Hold on, sorry. Uh, has disadvantage on deck save. So, and it's, you can't, he, is he making any saves after this? Every round? Oh, he saves every round, okay. Apparently it's a high save, because Soad has crazy con. Oh, there you go. Con saves for barbarians are great. Um... So you buffo toxin, you jump out, and then you hope that, like you cast, you can do um, sacred flame, you can do area of effect, like fire, like fireball specifically. Um, what other dex saves? I think grease is a dex save. So, I don't know, could... Sorta, of, kinda, of, but the jump thing is so fun, dude. Fucking so okay. Anyway, sorry. Okay, I like the frog just for the jump. The bufo toxin is stupid as hell. Especially, there are poison tree frogs that, frogs that can shoot poison darts. So why why would you make it melee? It's it's not even a good effect overall. But making it melee makes it even worse. Like especially. 
because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it would trigger um, opportunity attacks jumping in and out just like any other character does but I didn't try the cat for jump, did I? Or I did. It wasn't very good. I don't remember it being very good. Let's do a quick... No, I did, didn't I? Because she had... Like, the cat had to climb up onto here to jump. Yeah, that was sad. Okay, so frog, raven, spider. Last one. The last one at this level. I don't think it's better. Spider has six health. So one less than the closet. Pretty good already. Um, bite, plus or one piercing and one d4 poison, which is conditional. All the stats are below 10, so that's sad. Web walker, isn't slowed down by web surfaces, can't be in and webbed by them. Dark vision, 9 AC, so sad. No proficiencies. Initiative minus one. No resistance, it's not even poison. Okay. How about jump? 60. So jump. Oh, that's good as the frog. Right? Let me move the frog. Let me move back here. Yeah, jump is good as the frog. Okay. So jump in. Try to bite. Bite so bad. Bite him. Jump is a bonus action. Okay, does that mean that you can move? Wasn't it an action for the frog? Fuck, I didn't even notice that. So skitter. Okay, whatever. Okay. Why can I not... Why can't I bite you, Soad? There you go. 30% chance. Oh god, that's bad. Was it that bad for the frog? I don't know. The spider's stats are so bad, though. That could be that. You hit still? You are hitting, with 30% chance, you're hitting a lot. Poison so far, so I'd have saved over and over. It's a cause of so why wouldn't he? There is a po final poison, okay. <sighs> They're familiars. They're not, so oh, you can jump up here, yeah. So, whether you choose Raven, Frog, or Spider, they have a lot of move speed options. Raven can fly, the Frog and Spider can both um, jump a long distance. The Spider is a bonus action for it. <sighs> Sorry, let me just make sure if the Frog was or wasn't. I want to test the cat again super quick too. I'm sorry for who I am as a person. It sounds like there's an alarm on a phone going off in the house somewhere. Okay. Frog super quick. I want to see jump. Jump is bonus action. Okay, cool. That should have seemed obvious. So, you could move 30, bonus action jump another 60, or like move 30, attack, bonus action jump, jump out maybe? I mean, test this against um, hostile creatures because you know. I swear, the rest of my tests for this video are not long. I promise you. Um, I want to try the gloves of missile snaring that, that Soad has, but he, he also has cloth while I have you. Fly is a bonus action. No, it's movement speed. It's not even a bonus action. Peck, three damage attack roll, flat out. 
Rend vision, one damage, chance to blind, attack roll, action. Yeah. So fly is a movement speed. It's not even... I wonder if that's how they're trying to differentiate the frog and the... And, okay, so hold on. If I move my full 30 movement speed... And then fly... Not enough resources, movement speed. Okay. No one's stopped me yet. Okay, just get out of time. Okay, so fly your full whatever. Fly, you fool. What do you mean not enough? Yeah. That uses all of it. Okay. She just tried to hide from oh, Withers. I forgot Withers was there. I said she, Raven? I don't know, whatever. Um, and just super quick, I want to see if I got the cat right. There's something I was missing with the cat. <laughs> Ooh. Cat might have bonus action hide. We'll find out in a second. Like, I'm trying to figure out, cat is, is bad, except for possibly luring enemies with that meow. That is, in my opinion, the only good thing about the cat. Dark vision, sure, if that matters to your familiar. Hide is an action, sad, okay. Jump is bonus action, only 15 feet, that's why it's so sad. So bad. Why did you eat the cat so bad? So let's turn on time based mode. How far can you, how far can you get? So bonus action jump hide is an action. Is an action? Yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So, that's all that was. I've already got this save ready to go for the invisible freaking closet. I'm kind of worried a little bit since he's cheeky. If we meet his master, is he going to turn against me to help help the master? Kind of worried about that. Kinda short of wood. Okay. So, we've got Closet. He's here. He's invisible. Um, test the gloves of missile snaring. Alright. Trust no one. Starion. So let's make sure first Is off so it has the gloves. No, never mind. Because I'm pretty sure he does. I was thinking about doing um, the braces of defense but they don't work if you're holding a shield and I want I like it, it would be it would be the same thing meanwhile a, a shadow arts up to 19 AC with a plus one scale mail if she dashes cool shit happens speak with the dead is that really also I think that increase her dex I don't remember anyway um, okay so yes yeah, so they are on Starion touch me let's shoot so bad. Ah. Missile snaring. Takes a reaction. 1d10 plus your dex mod. So I took zero. He did five plus four total damage, so 1d8. Yeah, okay. And I took out 12. So I rolled, I think I have plus three decks. Cool. Let's try again. I've never seen this pop up. Critical miss, wow, dude. Missile snaring again. Took only one damage, okay. So he did eight, I, I took out seven, okay. Fun, okay, cool. 
Um, and then last but not least, you guys might enjoy this one. Moving. So the videos that I have seen, sorry, two videos I've seen regarding Lump's Warhorn were after the player had decided to, which I didn't know was an option, but I, I should have, like, this was back before I was exploring all options for, like, every encounter, prolonging my gameplay by hours. Um, I never even tried to approach the ogres. I'll try it on a different character, maybe my bard, but... I didn't. No time to rest. And I'm curious what the F happens. So let's leave camp. It's gonna bring us to the Druid Grove, because that's where I'm gonna find was. a way forward. Right, wait, I took a long rest. Actually, hold on. See if there's anything else I want. After Need anything else? After a long rest, things Of course. But please change. remember. You're not the only one in need. As far as options to buy. Or sell, or like more. Yeah. Also, the Ring of Flinging. Apparently, there is a build where you'll gain you'll gain one d four bonus throw damage with the Ring of Flinging. You will also have, I th I think it is with like some javelin of returning or something like that, and. Uh, Beyond that, I think it's a, a strength build with Tavern Brawler, because you get extra damage on thrown weapons. It's not a monk build, but it's like a Tavern Brawler strength-based crazy damage build with all that shit. Um, anyway, I've not seen... I think I've seen... But did I see this ring before now? I don't remember for sure. Uh, can you sort your shit, dude? Oh, here we go. Here's the extras, I think. Uh, another Arrow of Darkness. I've already purchased a couple. Arrow of Illumater. Enlarge. Don't I have that? Or is so, it a different character that got enlarged? Because I would really like it. Sorry. Uh, blindness, sickness, fuel, man, grace. Actually, I, I should go through these to see if Gale wants any. Uh, the ones that I already know he already has, I don't need to, but. Um, no, I do not have enlarge. I would like Need that anything else? A lot. Of course. But please, remember. Maybe you would find it. You're not the only one in need. Also, by the way, um, the Witcher's. Sorry, the Watcher's Guide, the the spear that's 1d8 when it's versatile, 1d6 plus 4. Uh, piercing if you miss with the spear the next attack roll gets true strike which is advantage um has been really good for my monk surprisingly and it, it acts somehow even though it's not finesse versatile does not mean it uses strength or dex but in this game it does so my dex based monk has really good attack and damage with the spear which is a 1d8 because she that's the only thing she wields so it's versatile that way at least i hope the game is doing it though i haven't actually checked um and if she misses then her if she wants to use her like follow-up bonus attack or something like that gets advantage that's pretty cool sorry uh let's see where'd that scroll just go am i blind what just happened did you just resort everything and I missed it? <gasps> Haste? Ooh. Chromatic orb. I think I already have a scroll for that. If I don't, I don't know if I care. Did you resort it? You sorted, didn't you, dude? Okay. Enlarge. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, Feather Fall already have. Haste. Yes, please. Magic Miss already got it, already learned it. Anything else cool looking in here that I haven't already? I know I, I know I told you guys that we have just one last quick thing to do, and we will do that in this wonderful heavy boo. This is new. Scale mail plus one medium. 15. I think this would be better than 
Blazel's armor. No, it wouldn't. Let's see, that's like what she already has. It would t she'd take one less slashing damage from all sources, but eh, whatever. As far as throwing damage, I don't have anybody that I care about throwing at all, so. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation, no breathing. Okay. So I'll be with you too. Uh, let me move those over to Gale. Por favor, super quick. I'm gonna be super sad if, if one of these people who I love to deck out eventually goes bad. Um, but let's. Yeah, we're getting out. I could just warp, couldn't I? Yeah, I'm being an idiot. Let's just warp. Okay. Save game. Save over this one that has been my new, most recent. This, this is almost over, I promise. Okay. So, let's use the horn. See what happens. Since I killed the ogres, there theoretically should be no ogres. Right? Now. Yep. So I have somewhat fucked up two things on this playthrough, and I thought that so the dog Scratch didn't know exactly how to play that, even with speak with animals. I thought that I was going to do a better job, but um, I could have also theoretically spoke with Dead with the Master, but uh, whatever. I knocked Scratch out. And have never seen him again. Maybe I will see him later. I don't know because I haven't seen a guide about what happens in that case. Um, but I'm very sad. And then I guess I didn't take the chance to try to parlay with the ogres and join and have them join as allies. So, um, yeah, sad on my part. Those are the only things I wanted to experiment with. Uh, the gloves and missile snare would be really cool when I actually get it. Like I've never he he hasn't really had a chance to use them in combat. Weirdly enough. Um, that's going to be the end of this video, I believe. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do it. It's already long enough. So I go, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for sticking with me. Bye.